right, Mark, so around the corner, underneath the window, is some spots that I noticed. Okay. So here's the window, and then I noticed that there are some few cracks in the mortar, and some of it's missing entirely. Right. So you see this joint right here? Yeah. We call that a head joint. It's in between the brick. Okay. We call this a bed joint, okay? We have problems with both of them, as you can see. Mortar's completely fallen out of this head joint. We're going to correct that. Okay. If you look at this bed joint under the sill, you see it? Yeah, it's starting so, to crumble it's too. It's very crumbled, it's gray, wrong color. Uh, you can see that we had a guy come in here. He matched the color pretty well. Uh, the guy before him though, not so well. You see this gray mortar? Yeah, I wondered what that was. Yeah, it's just a sloppy guy doing a sloppy job. Uh, we're not going to work like that, of course, but over here we have some of the original joints. Yeah, it seems a lot smaller. It's a lot smaller. So what you and I are going to do is we're going to take all that out, take that head joint out, take everything out from under the sill, and then we're going to come back with the right tools, the right color mortar, and we'll be good to go. All right, sounds like a bigger job than I was anticipating. Not at all. We're going to go step by step, and by the time we're done, you're going to be a pro. All right, sounds good. All right, let's go. Okay, Summer, so here are the tools that we're going to use to clean the mortar out. This is a brick hammer, and this is a pointing chisel. All right, so sounds have good. It. So what do I need to do first? What you're going to do is you're going to take this pointer. You're going to get it into the top of the joint. Okay. You're going to be pointing it down, just as you are. Okay. And then you're going to start tapping that with the brick hammer. And do I use which side of the brick this hammer? This end, flat this head. End? Yep. Okay. There you go. Okay, pull that out now. All right. Reset at your angle, exactly. Now go back down on that hammer. Great, pull out, start again. See how you're doing that? Yep, so oh, just great. keep pulling it out and moving and, down further. And moving it down, yeah, yeah. You're halfway done, that's great. Great, now don't be afraid to reverse direction. Now to get that little bit, don't be afraid to go up go at up. it. Yep. Just be gentle, you don't want to damage the brick. Okay, you're doing a great job. Now, just remember, you want to get that joint exposed at least three quarters of an inch, which you probably just did. Okay. And we like to do that because uh, mortar does not stick to mortar. So if we smeared mortar onto that joint, it would just eventually break off. So mortar does stick to brick, and that's why we like to go in at least three quarters of an inch. Okay, so the more brick that's exposed, the better it the is. The more exposure, exactly. Okay, you're doing a great job. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a thinner chisel. I'm going to go behind you, the ones you've already done. I'm going to clean out just a little bit more, and you can continue on and do the rest of the head joints in front of you. All right. Okay. We're going to do all the head joints first. That'll weaken the bed joint and make the bed joint easier to chisel out. Now I'm going to go clean out all the extra mortar with this clean out tool. Okay, so now what we want to do is brush out all that dust. All right, should I start at the top and work my way down? Start at the top and work your way down, exactly. And don't be afraid to use a little muscle with that. See how much you're getting. Now we're going to wet in the brush. It's going to do two things. It's going to pick up some of the extra dust, but it's also going to dampen the brick so the mortar fawns better. All right, great job. Thanks. Yeah, oh yeah, you did really well with that. Okay, so the most important thing that we're trying to do here today is match the mortar. Okay. So what we did, is we took a chip out of the wall, went all the way down to our local brickyard, put it up against some already pre-made swatches. We found a color, yours is called moccasin. It comes pre-mixed, which is great for us. Portland cement, lime, sand, the color moccasin, and all we have to do is add water. All right, so. What we want to do with the water is add it slowly. Okay, is there a certain consistency that we're looking for? Yeah, I'm thinking oatmeal, if that makes any sense. Yep. But that's a nice consistency to work with. Okay. So we're just going to want to add and twist. Like we're going to do just another little dab. Okay, let's try to put some on the wall. All right. 
I'm gonna feed you a little mortar right on top of that finished trowel. Okay. Very good. You're gonna put that right up to the wall. Like this. Gonna, great. Right. Now you take that tuck pointer. Okay. Which is that, and you just push that mortar right into that joint, so empty joint. Just cut a little piece off and push it in. Exactly. And make sure you get nice and deep. That's great. And that's the action. You just want to continue that throughout the joint. Okay. Sounds right. good. Does it matter how thick I put it in there? Well, or? you know what? Just like we talked about before, you're going to want to stay off of the edge of the brick okay. right there. So right now you're looking really good. All right. So just keep going down just the line. Just continue that, yeah. Nice. And try to keep it off the keep other it, brick. Keep it off the other brick. Right? Remember, neatness counts. Oh, that's great. Okay, keep sliding to your right. Yeah. And you can see how the mortar is, is staying consistent and it doesn't look like it's dried out. Yes. Yeah, that's because you wet the brick before. Now, if the brick were completely dry, they'd be sucking water right out of that mortar. Okay. And that would make the mortar brittle. That's it, you're doing a good job pushing it all the way through. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna go over the head joints. Okay. We switched trowels on you, which okay. is fine, right? But now you're gonna take your joiner, you're gonna try to flip that mortar up on the back side of your joiner, stuff it right into the head joint, and pull it down. Oh, nice. Yep, that's it, same thing as the bed joint, you're gonna wanna work it all the way back. Okay. There you go, nice turn, nice turn. The final step is to use a horsehair brush, brush off all the excess, and blend the mortar. All right, Summer, looks great. Thanks. Oh, man, I love the way you stayed off the edge of the brick, just like the original work. That is great. Don't worry about the color. It's all going to cure four, six weeks. It'll all cure together. I can already tell that it's, we have a great blend going. And, uh, you know, what do you think? You did your first masonry project. I think you did a great job. What do you think? Thanks. It was a lot easier than I thought it was. Yeah. So again, you spend 75 bucks on some tools and material. You get a day out here, do what we did, and you got something behind you. Mm -hmm.